This is Lou Covey, Editorial Director of New Tech Press, and this audio interview with Jeff Jussel of Element 14 is about the Raspberry Pi Personal Computer, a $35 credit card size computer from the Raspberry Pi Foundation in the UK. The audio is a little bit rough because I was talking to Jeff while he was on the road, but I think you'll be interested in what this product can do. So, Jeff, why did Element 14 get involved with this program? Thanks, Lou. Uh, we really believe that this is one of the most exciting innovations in, in recent history. And it really enables innovation for design engineers and engineering students and electronic enthusiasts. And that's really at the heart of what Element 14 is all about. Um, we enable innovation not only as a distributor of technology components, but as a provider of complete engineering solutions. And uh, this, this uh, board, you know, this product is really revolutionary in enabling people to not only learn about programming, but then to, uh, to build innovative new things out of this, out of this, uh, this board, this new, uh, you know, very low-cost, uh, fully operational uh, computer. So that, that's, that brings me to th this question, is that there have been several other attempts to, to penetrate uh, the developer and education markets with low-cost computers, and I'm thinking of like BeagleBoard and recently announced Cotton Candy and Chorus. What makes this different from those products? Well, really, it's it's the accessibility of this. This is the the lowest cost, um, fullest featured uh, product that's, that's available. That's really intended to do this. And for for thirty five dollars, people can actually buy a fully functioning computer, uh, attach a, a, a monitor and a, um, an Ethernet connection and a, and a mouse or keyboard to it, and uh, and actually be computing. Um, and so we can actually help people learn how to program and give them the access to it. Um, in, in a way that's, that no other product has, has, has ever done before. So that's really exciting for us. Is it possible to use this as a PC? I mean, could you load a browser onto it and surf the web? Well, it, it uh, uses uh, Linux as its operating system. So anything that you can do on a Linux system, you can do on this. So yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, you know, it's, as you said, the, the Model B, which is the, the one that's for sale now, about $35. It has two USB slots, uh, 250 minutes, 256 megabit of, of RAM, megabytes of RAM, uh, an, HDMI, an HDMI slot so that you can actually drive uh, high-definition video from it. And then its, uh, it's um, memory is actually an SD memory card slot. So uh, with an SD memory card, you use that to uh, load up the operating system as well as, uh, as your uh, hard disk. Um, and this, of course, we, we sell a bundle that includes all of these things, a uh, wireless mouse, a keyboard, the Wi-Fi uh, dongle, um, so all of these things give you the capability of running a full computer. So it really is a, a complete computer on a credit, size, a credit card size uh, board. Okay. What were the initial expectations for this launch? Well, we really didn't know what to expect. We had high hopes because it is such a great product and it solves a problem that uh, we, we knew was something that was uh, you know, high profile. And we had, uh, saw a lot of buzz in the industry uh, about this product as it was coming out. Um, but uh, we really didn't know what type of uh, response that we would get as we announced. And what we, we, we found was just uh, amazing. Um, we uh, uh, actually had demos of this at Embedded World last week in Nuremberg, Germany. And we were the only uh, company that was showing this live, um, showing demos of the, this board. And uh, we literally had 
So uh, I understood you sold out of the the inventory you had within a couple of hours. Can you give us a number as to a general number about how much that was? Well, I say we 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 I'll, I'll leave the allocation to our uh, allocation experts, but we knew, we knew we would we'd sell out. We, the initial allocation was fairly small because Raspberry Pi has a a very small run to begin with, uh, and we're working very quickly to uh, to fulfill all the rest of the orders that we have. Uh, working with the Raspberry Pi Foundation and, uh, and, and manufacturers in order to uh, to uh, fulfill the demand that we've seen. So it's like I said, it's, it's been very very good uh, response, a uh, very exciting response. And with that, with any any product, of course, you want to uh, to fulfill that as quickly as you can, and we're working to do that. Now there were some rumors online that the foundation was not at all happy with the um, perceived lack of preparation. They got, got any comments on that? Actually, um, our work with the foundation and our relationship with them has been very good. And uh, I, I know you'll, you'll be talking with Evan uh, later, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave that to, to him to respond to, to how he uh, perceives his relationship. But we're very excited to be partnered with them, and uh, we've got nothing but good response from them. Now, you know, with, with any new product like this where there's so much excitement and, uh, and people waiting uh, to get you know, in line, basically to, to get access to the, the cards um, where you know there's some disappointment out there and uh, there were some minor glitches we had a, a, a web problem for a, you know a few few hours that uh, we had to overcome when it first went up because of the, the, the great response but overall um, I, I think ourselves and uh, the Raspberry Pi Foundation are very happy with the, the uh, um, the response that we're getting and um, the visibility that we're giving this project. And we've certainly gotten so much interest from the press around the world. So I don't think we could have asked for more than that. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about the visibility. Um, you, you, you've identified uh, education as a primary target for this. Are we talking about college level or are you talking about going deeper than that? Oh, it really goes deeper than that. This is where we want to give school children, uh, you know, it's, it's young as the elementary school age, to be able to go in and learn about programming and really give them something that excites them the way that uh, maybe future generations would have been inspired by um, uh, you know, some, some of the, the early computers. You know, if, if, if you're looking at me, I'll, I'll date myself. I learned to program on Apple IIe. Um, but at that time, then there were, were a lot of uh, uh, you know, gaming systems that you could go in and easily hack and write up your own games. And it really spawned a whole generation of us that uh, were, were interested in, in programming um, and in computers and uh, inspired us to get into this industry in the first place. Um, and I believe Evan Upton's uh, vision is that as well, is to really inspire people by providing them with a platform where they can do things that interest them and certainly you know, the, the, uh, you know, the gaming is, is another potential application for this that will be huge. Uh, with the HDMI slots, you can actually uh, process and then, uh, and then view high-definition video um, from this and, and, uh, and high-definition graphics. Um, so that, that's an op opportunity to really inspire uh, kids of all ages, I should say, um, to, uh, to pick up programming and do interesting things. And certainly we're, we're also working with, uh, with different groups out there um, to help um, grow the number of applications that are available. So you know, as more and more people get onto Raspberry Pi, start uh, developing new and interesting applications, those applications will, will inspire other people to build on top of what they're building, uh, which is really the, uh, you know, the, the point of open source. And that's why we built it on top of Linux. That you can take those applications and share them and build on top of them and, and really get a snowball effect going here, so that everybody can can learn from each other. Uh, let me let me just go a little bit further with this education effort because uh, BeagleBoard was also identified to be something for education, and it's it's penetrated into the college level. But I did some calls around uh, to some of the uh, more nationally recognized high school science programs. Um, in the nation, and the administrators at the schools that I talked to, not only had they not heard about Raspberry Pi, they hadn't heard about BeagleBoard, Cotton Candy, Chorus, any of the, the products that are out there d designed to push students more into engineering. And I understand that Element 14 is actually putting together a program to try and overcome that lack of penetration.
tremendous, but we've got a long way to go. And through our uh, Element 14 community um, and building up um, a you know, strong uh, following in the Linux community, we hope to make this um, available to, uh, to ed educators all around the world that are in that Linux community or in that, uh, um, you know, they're, they're, you know, in a know as far as uh, computing systems that are out there, and and then make that available to them so that they can start using it to uh, to inspire their students. Well, great. Uh, Jeff, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, I think this is an exciting project, and we're looking forward to seeing how it uh, expands uh, internationally.